We've spent the last two weeks in hell, at least when we can connect to the servers, and from the comments on our last tips video, it seems a lot of you have been playing Helldivers 2 as well. So here are some more tips, many of which were provided in those comments by you, the GameSpot community. Let us know some more in the comments here, and we may feature them in another upcoming guides video. Our first tip comes from at Niccolo Manahan7775 and at Dylan the Davis. Bigger guns can take a little time to reload, however this process is done in stages, and if it gets interrupted by an attacking Terminid or Automaton, you will simply have to pick up the action from the beginning of the last stage, rather than having to go through the entire reloading process. While aiming for the head is a great tactic, just be aware some of the creepy crawlers will stay alive even if they lose their noggin. So whatever you do, don't stop shooting an enemy until it comes to a complete stop. Moving while calling in stratagems is a must, but considering doing so on a controller requires your left thumb for both the thumbstick and the D-pad, Lord forgive me, but it's time to go back to the old me. The only real way to move and call in a stratagem on a controller is to use the claw technique, where you move with the thumb and input stratagem commands on the D-pad with the side of your index finger. While this tip doesn't remove the need to utilize the claw method, as at Seasonal Ocean pointed out on our last video, switching the stratagem menu on L1 with the ping system on R1 helps in making the claw method not as cumbersome. Your hands will thank us. In the last video, we explained how to access alternate methods of fire for weapons by holding down the reload button. If you unlock the railgun, you'll find that it has an unsafe setting. While this mode deals more damage with each shot, be warned, if you attempt to fire it when overcharged, it will explode, taking you out as well as any teammates in the vicinity. <laughs> One of the biggest pains in the ass amongst the Terminids is the Hunter, which are not only fast but have a tongue that, if it stings you, will slow you down. It's very easy on higher difficulties to lose to a swarm of these things, but if you melee them, as noted by AtGiveSick in the last video's comments, you can temporarily stun them, making them much easier to handle. One-handed weapons, while generally less powerful than other guns, have the useful ability of being able to be shot behind you while running away from a horde of enemies, as long as you're not aiming down sights while doing so. If you do get taken out by a horde and you don't see any hope of escaping, may as well deal some damage on your way out. Call in an orbital strike stratagem and when you die it will rain down on the enemies swarming your body. Supply packs are great for restocking your team, but if you want to dip into those resources yourself, press 5 on your keyboard or down on the D-pad. Thanks to at forget the reality for the tip. There is one easy way to input stratagems with keyboard and mouse, and that is with macros, where you can program a single button to input the sequence of arrows for you. If you think this is cheating, don't shoot the messenger. This tip was provided by at Quintessence of Life 7870. Illegal broadcast towers require you to go through the process of disabling them, or if you prefer, you can just blow them up, saving you some time. Thanks for the tip at Smashing Happy Days. Those are all the tips we have for now, but as I said at the top of the video, if you have any of your own, please comment with them and we'll potentially share them with the community in another video. Until then, like and subscribe for more Helldivers 2 on GameSpot. For democracy!